قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم انما الاعمال بالنيات كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم actions are based on your intention قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ان من خياركم احسنكم اخلاقا كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the best amongst you are those who have the best manners قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خياركم خياركم لنسائهم او كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the best amongst you are those who are best to their wives قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم من تعلم القران وعلمه او كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the best amongst you are those who learn quran and teach quran احب الناس الى الله the most beloved person to allah tbarak wa taala is the one who is the most beneficial to other human being what we learn from the life of ibrahim alayhi salam lesson of devotion lesson of dedication lesson of love loyalty commitment lesson of being ready in the way of allah lesson of being ready in the way of allah to give everything and anything and everything lesson of submission today the muslims are following the footsteps of ibrahim alayhi salam not because of the price or the weight of the lamb it is because of the purity in their intention it is because of the ikhlas they had in their in their action and in their intention today we can do one thing that is small or big with the purity with the pure niya and it will go in a long way it will run through your generation if you purely do something for the sake of allah wa kunu ibadullahi ikhwana qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la taqata'u wa la tadabaru wa la tabaghadu wa la tahasadu wa kunu ibadullahi ikhwana wa la yahillu li muslimin an yahjura akhahu fawqa thalas do not cut your ties do not plan bad things towards another muslim do not have bugd inside your heart towards another muslim brother or sister do not have jealousy hasad inside your heart towards any other brother than muslim we are all brothers and sister in islam it is not allowed it is not permissible for any muslim to be angry with another muslim for more than 3 days ibadullah the way this month is sacred for all of us the way the yawmul arafa the the way the city of makkah is sacred the life and the property of any other muslim is also sacred respect them regard them protect them